What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are taking a look at some very cool, innovative, and unusual attacks. Um, these are using some super troops that you might not see very often, uh, including the super giant. And uh, all around, these attacks are just kind of a little bit different, but sometimes the different is what you need to take out these bases that are trying to defend against the common attacks people tend to go to at each of these town hall levels. Um, so we're starting off with a Queen Charge Mass Baby Dragon attack. These are always fun ones, and as you can see, this base totally set up to try to defend against, of course, the Witch's most common attack right now at Town Hall 11. You can see those super minions in the clan castle actually uh, worked out all right because they were able to get some damage on the queen uh, before she was even that close to them because of their uh, added range but all in all she got them taken out without even having to use the ability so take that as you will maybe a headhunter or two would have been better um, anyway though nice little wall breaker action opening up that multi inferno on the right side there and then um, as the air defenses go down coming in here with loons and baby dragons to just start picking off the outside of the base queen does wander a little bit here it would have been nice to see a baby dragon on those buildings on the top left to kind of help push her towards the eagle um, but you know works out okay anyway she comes back now towards the core and meanwhile, just dropping these baby dragons, the king just goes down just now, so he tanked the eagle for quite a long time. Uh, sending in the warden here with a couple of the baby dragons as well as the slammer cutting across the base. Just, I like how methodically taking out the base, a lot of the damage was up at the top and the queen got that taken out early. So now the baby dragons can kind of feast on the back end. Great warden's ability, well timed. Uh, as the queen is doing all her damage on what would have been, you know, those baby dragons had they been taking damage. They get her down, and then out comes an E-dragon with a clone and a rage, um, just to overpower the rest of the base, get that last air defense down. Finally, the queen will get in there and take out that eagle, which has just been up the entire attack, but when it's only baby dragons, there's not, no big clusters of, it, of troops for it to target, so it didn't do much damage all in all which made this work out pretty nicely here and has a lot of troops up at the end. So, um, you know, doesn't even use the queen's ability either. This can be a strong attack against the right base. You know, witches are kind of a go-to. You zap down both the infernos and spam them away, but that doesn't always work. And sometimes you can, if you just think a little bit deeper into the plan, be a little more creative, uh, it can be a lot easier than you think. So, Let's move along here to our next base, number 20. This was a cool attack, I thought, um, using the Super Archers. And uh, this is something that I saw when the Super Archers first came out, but recently I've been seeing it come back more because um, it kind of went away for a little while. Good value here, just getting down two Expos as well as um, an Air Defense and the Eagle. All good stuff to get taken out. Also positioning wise, that creates a nice little uh, break in the base, um, which will allow for the pathing to kind of work out as you'll see. One thing that's unique about this super archer attack is that almost always for this type of attack where you have the healers on a troop kind of pushing through the base, such as you know yetis, pekkas, etc., pekka bowler, stuff like that, you almost always have the queen with everything. But for this attack, the archers kind of act as an archer queen themselves because of their range. So you really don't need the queen to kind of join them. If anything, you want the healers staying on the super archers rather than staying on the queen. So the queen is kind of used sacrificially here along with the king to set up that funnel. And you can see how far at the top of the base the king just took out everything up there. Great, great value. Um, but... Uh, the queen will go down, and it's just up to the super archers at this point. Kind of interesting, a headhunter actually activated the town hall. Um, but the super archers have that range. They're able to take it out even from behind that wall. Um, they have more range, I think, than the archer queen. So, you know, they truly are super archers. And then coming in here with the siege barracks, which is typically used to kind of funnel the other side. I think it was a little bit late because quite a few of the super archers are going to walk around the base because that funnel wasn't set yet. I think to some extent, maybe you do want a couple of them to walk around the outside, but the P.E.K.K.A. and the wizards is usually more than enough. So I would have dropped that siege barracks just a little bit earlier than, uh, than it was done. But 
Um, that being said, still plenty of archers in there to take out the core of the base with the healers on them. They don't die, and somehow, some way, the queen is still alive. I didn't even notice that. I just assumed she was going down, but I guess with the use of her ability, she is somehow back at full health, for better or for worse. And um, meanwhile, there's like nine or eight hogs coming out of the siege barracks, just wrecking whatever's left. All around, very strong attack if you use it correctly, as all of these attacks we're going to take a look at today are. Um, and I think that uh, it's a nice, nice refresher from some of the typical hybrid and, and even witches now also that we're seeing become so popular at Town Hall 12. Speaking of Town Hall 12, as we move along here, we have number 18 to take a look at as well. This one using the super giants, and I'm kind of a fan, I'll be honest. Uh, these have... If you look at the stats of the Supergiant, they have better stats, you know, as a tank than uh, the Golem, than the Ice Golem. They are, you know, the best bang for your buck for the troop space they take up. So, um, really, the only downside is, you know, at Town Hall 13, a Scattershot can take out a bunch of them, obviously, pretty quickly if they're all in a, a bunch. And that goes for any splash damage on the base, so... There is advantages to having the golem not, you know, be susceptible to splash damage in the same way because it's one unit instead of a bunch of smaller units, as well as the ice golem has the freeze effect. So there is a time and a place for all these tanks, but for kind of a, you know, spread it out spam attack, uh, just looking at the raw stats, the, the super giants are, uh, you know, they do actually a, a fair amount of damage once they get on a defense. Uh, and, you know, they have more hit points per troop space, I believe, than either the Golem or the Ice Golem. Uh, so that, you know, makes it so you're putting down more tankage just by, you know, raw stats than anything else you could do. Also has an Ice Golem or two coming in as well. And I think there might be one in the in the uh, Wall Wrecker there. The Wall Wrecker can actually two-shot these max walls at Town Hall 12. So that makes it actually pretty effective at getting through the base quickly. Good use of the Warden's ability, everything coming through, still has quite a few Super Giants up and working, and um, because there are more of them, they tend to do a better job tanking than, uh, you know, Golems or Ice Golems would, because there's a chance that your Golems get stuck somewhere, if you have more units, there's less of a chance they're all going to get stuck, um, it's a little safer in a sense. Anyway, Ice Golem comes out of the uh, Wall Wrecker along with a P.E.K.K.A. to grab that Town Hall. I'm a big fan of using the P.E.K.K.A. on this type of Witch Attack because you need something that has substantial hit points and damage so it can deal with the Town Hall. The Witches have a lot of trouble with the Town Hall at Town Hall 12 and 13. So you've got to have the Ice Golem to freeze it up and then the P.E.K.K.A. to take it down. And this was a textbook use. Um, Quite a few troops up, both heroes, abilities, king and queen, and we'll finish off here as we go uh, fast forwarding. Those max P.E.K.K.A.s looking awful nice. Uh, level, uh, what is that, level 9 at uh, Town Hall 13. So I'm just saying, you know, look to use them both at Town Hall 13 and in your clan castle at lower levels. Okay, one more. And we are going to end the night with one more Town Hall 12. The 13s from this war weren't as special in terms of these cool attacks. So um, didn't want to show, you know, a bunch of hybrid. And uh, there was actually a couple of drag bat, which was kind of cool. But I showed some dragons in my last video. So uh, we're going to take a look at one more Town Hall 12 instead. And this was a cool variation of an attack that I've always been a... You know, a huge proponent of. I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, the Super Witch attack at Town Hall 12 with the healers on the Warden to start things off. And then instead of using the typical spells and a siege barracks uh, with the with hogs to kind of wrap up the base, in this case, we're using a uh, wall wrecker just to kind of push through instead of having to use wall breakers or jump spells and then uh, some back-end bat spells. Very cool stuff. We'll see how this goes as the Warden Walk finishes up here. Pretty long Warden Walk. Uh, maybe a wizard or two would have sped it up a little better, so that's my only criticism. I'm a, It's a pet peeve of mine when people do these long Warden Walks that waste a lot of time when they could be speeding them up with just a wizard or a baby dragon. It's worth the troop space almost always because that time is so precious when you're using the Super Witches. Looks like they made the skeletons a little bit smaller, which, you know, <laughs> they're supposed to be like, quote-unquote, 
big boys, um, which is kind of a weird term for the the skeleton units that the super witches spawn, but um, I guess it may, makes them a little easier to uh, to kind of fit into the whole interface here if they're a smaller sized troop. Just an observation, though. Um, I think they you know have the same hit points; they just happen to be smaller uh, visually. But um, as always, these super witches are so hard to kill. I mean, they have so many hit points. Uh, and then they, you know, spawn these other true units that also have quite a few hit points in their own right. Um, so once again, we have some super minions doing work here in the uh, CC, but not going to be enough to really make a dent. And then um, here come the bats. I like how he didn't panic and freeze that inferno again because once the bats are already on it and it's the only thing they're targeting, you have a big, you know, hunk of bats there. They can get away with a second or two, even with the multi-inferno being on them. It doesn't switch targets that fast. And this allowed him to save that free spell for that wizard tower, basically cleaning up the entire rest of the base as the town hall goes down to those super witches. That's one of the good things about super witches as well, is they don't have a whole lot of trouble taking down the town hall, especially compared to like regular witches, because they have a lot of hit points, and especially if a healer's locked onto them, they're going to be able to take it out before it can take them out. All four Super Witches still alive, as often is the case for these types of attacks. It's crazy how they just don't die. Um, time really is your biggest enemy, which is why I'm always a big fan, like I said, of speeding up the Warden Walk. All right, so that'll do it. Thanks for watching. As you can see, this war did not quite go our way, but um, still a decent effort, and I'll be sure to bring you guys some more content from our wars as they happen over the next few days and weeks. Let me know in the comments what you think, anything you want to see in particular, and I'll be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, BISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time. Bisectatron out.